a sense of humour is invaluable wherever you are, I suppose, but it certainly does help on a movie. Does it ever get cold on the moral high ground? Known for her tell-it-like-it-is characters, Dame Maggie Smith was a household name both on screen and the stage. Something you'd like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Her storied career earned her two Academy Awards, four Emmys, a Tony, and a damehood from Queen Elizabeth II. I think I have been terribly lucky. Smith made her theater debut in the early 1950s at just 17 years old. I went to school in Oxford and they started a drama school at Oxford and I'm just working on stage management and playing maids. A few years later, she began taking on small film and TV roles. Do you find over the years that acting actually gets easier or more difficult? No, I've, I've found that it's got more and more difficult. It becomes more and more complicated because there are more and more things to do, more and more things to find out. I will not resign. But it was in 1969's The Prime of Miss Jean Brody that Smith really made her mark on Hollywood. I am a teacher. I am a teacher first, last, always. Do you imagine that for one instant I will let that be taken from me without a fight? The film earned Smith her first Oscar for Best Actress. When it happened, and um, I was very, very thrown by the reaction. And it took me very much by surprise. <laughs> E.T. first spoke with Maggie Smith back in 1982 at the film premiere of Agatha Christie's Evil Under the Sun. Even in those days, she could always throw her legs up in the air higher than any of us. <laughs> And wider. Are you an Agatha Christie fan yourself? No, I'm actually I'm not an Agatha Christie fan myself, but I like doing those films. They're fun. Soon, she took on parts in bigger films like A Room with a View, Hook, and Sister Act 1 and 2. There are three vows every nun must accept. The vow of poverty, mm -hmm. the vow of obedience, mm -hmm. and the vow of chastity. I am out of here with that. Oh, man. That is the joy of acting, is to do as many different things. I can't think of anything more deadly than just playing one part. But Smith's most recognizable role would come in 2001. Welcome to Hogwarts. When she helped bring the Wizarding World's Professor Minerva McGonagall to the big screen in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. That was bloody brilliant. Well, thank you for that assessment, Mr. Weasley. Every child I've come across who's read it has just been insane about it. I just thought, well, this is going to be just fascinating to do. See, see where they're going to go with all this magic. Smith brought her magic to the Harry Potter franchise in seven more films. I've always wanted to use that spell. How many films take ten years? That's, that's what stands out. That you're, you're with this character for longer than you are with any, any character ever. So that's, that's the legacy. There's no need to be so prim. I come in peace. Another character Smith played for more than a decade? The shark-tongued Violet Crawley in Julian Fellows' Downton Abbey. How you hate to be wrong. I wouldn't know. I'm not familiar with the sensation. The series ran for six seasons and earned Smith three of her four Emmys and a Golden Globe. It later spawned two films. You never thought to turn it down. Do I look as if I'd turned down a villa in the south of France? The second, which was released in 2022, was Smith's last appearance as the beloved character. Milady, <laughs> Stop that noise. I can't hear myself die. At the Downton Abbey A New Era premiere, her fellow castmates sang her praises. She means so much to me and, and everyone, and she has us in stitches all the time, and I just adore her. I think Julian has gradually written the, uh, all facets of her real character into, into Violet. She has that great well of decent humanity in her. She's lived a great life of working with these incredible people, and yeah, it's a pleasure to be in her company always. And with that, I will say good night and leave you to discuss my mysterious past.